Okay, hello everyone. This is the second part of the tutorial on uh, animating a work of art using Photoshop. Okay. So in the previous tutorial, we um, worked on our uh, work of art and split it in different parts and uh, did all the retouching process um, to obtain an image that is ready uh, for the animation. So this is the original work of art. We work on the background, split this into different parts, such as the arm, the hand, sorry, the arm, and the green in three different stages. Also, the blinking eye in two different stages, or three different stages, actually. And uh, I also imported an image of uh, Saigon Bear that I will be using at the end. I just want to make sure that every layer has got a proper name because these names will be uh, inherited in our layers in the timeline, okay? So please make sure you have that uh, ready. Um, I need to have a look at the timeline, so in order to do that I'm just going to my window at the top menu, click there, and then look for timeline. Click there. And then you have at the bottom the timeline. Now, this is not the one I want to use. For now, I want to work on this one here. Okay, so you click there, and then we have a complete different um, layout for our timeline. If you go right here in between this and click and drag, you can sort of expand your timeline. Um, basically, we have every single layer that we've got in our canvas. Uh, split um, here too. Okay, so I'm ready to animate. I want to start with the arm. Okay, um, probably I'm going to bring my layer, my layers back here. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, I need to look for my arm layer in the timeline. And on the left hand side, you can see this little arrow so you can um, animate uh, position, opacity, and style. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to make sure that I'm on frame one. And then I'm going to click on this icon and then I get my very first keyframe. Okay, so next. I'm going to frame to one of these frames somewhere here and I'm going to click here to add a keyframe and now you can see I have first frame and the second frame here and now I'm going to move the arm and I just go back and I press the space bar and then you can see the animation running but this is not what I want but I can show you how it works. There is a problem here with um, this animation, but there is a way to fix it. And the issue is that we cannot animate rotation. Okay? If I keyframe position here, and I go to the next frame, and I keyframe again, and I change rotation from here, is going to act a little bit weird. So I'm going to do command command alt z just get back to my original file and I'm going back to my layers tab okay I am on on the layers tab look for the arm layer do right click and convert to a smart object okay click there now you can see that there is a new sorry you can see there is a new icon here and now I should be able to animate this properly so I go to the arm layer in the timeline which is down here I expand uh, this layer and now I have a transform uh, item that I did not have before. So I'm going to frame one, I'm going to keyframe, just need to 
I'll do command T on delay and make sure that I put the um, pivot point. When I go to the next frame, wherever I want it, I keyframe, do command T. It's going to place this and I can animate there. This should go maybe this way. Right, there's a problem here. So I'm just going to go back to my first frame. Command T, place the pivot point again. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit, probably this way. Okay. Press enter, and there you go. Okay, I just want to move this uh, layer, this frame, keyframe, a little bit towards the beginning, and then I have this uh, moving much faster. Okay. Right, so let's uh, collapse this layer and uh, go to the hand layer. We're going to do the same. So first thing, I'm going to the hand layer here. Okay, uh, I need to place it properly. You can see that it's not it's not quite right where I want it. So it's going to make sure it's okay. Okay. Um, now. We got the same problem position opacity and style remember that we need to um, get in here the transform item so i'm going to the layer on the layers tab right click convert to a smart object i'm going to expand uh, this layer now and there you go then then we have the transform item so we're going to go back to frame one uh, before I keyframe, I'm going to do Command T, and I'm going to change the pivot point somewhere here, I suppose. And then I keyframe. Uh, sorry, press Enter. Keyframe. Then I'm going to expand arm to see where I should be. I should be here. Okay. Yeah. And then I keyframe again. And this time I'm going to move the hand this way. Okay, and I might need to rotate it a little bit. Remember to change your pivot point here. Okay. Actually, I just want to rotate it this way. Uh, just a little bit. Now let's check the animation, see what it looks like. Press enter to deselect and this is what we have okay now I want to animate the green so to get this green uh, working so uh, I need to make sure that um, I understand exactly what I want to do with my animation so first of all I want this guy to rise the rise his arm and rise the glass so that's that takes few frames so it stops here in the final animation, I want this to go down and uh, just bring the um, the glass back down. But so far, I'm just gonna keep it like that. So now, at this point, I want I want him to to smile. So I have the three layers that we made in the previous tutorial for the green. So I just need to move this. Just click and drag every frame every layer sorry back to this point um, this is going to be a very um, short green right so it's not going to take too long so I'm going to move this here and this here and basically I'm working with these layers over here right so I have the the normal one, green zero, one and two. Now you can see here what is what is happening. Okay, so I'm just running my animation. It moves the arm with the hand, and bang, it brings here, brings here, and here. Okay, I possibly repeated this one. I don't need it. I just kept it because I brought it from the previous file. But you might not need it. So I'm just gonna get this one, and that's it. Okay, so I will will stay there if you want to keep the smile then this is the last frame that you want just move it back 
until the end if you want okay right right there's another trick here that it consists on putting all these layers together I don't want to have all these split into different layers because it might be a little bit difficult to work with so uh, I believe what you can do is convert all these three layers into smart objects okay so what I'm going to do is in my layer layers panel tab I'm going to select green 02 green 01 and green 0 and I'm going to do right click and uh, convert to a smart object I click there now you can see that this green became only one symbol single layer but the animation is still there okay okay now if for some reason you need to edit this part simply go back to our new layer which is actually a kind of merge layer okay do a right click and then go to uh, edit contents okay now when you click ed click edit content Photoshop opens a new file which is PSB which contains the three layers that we we've just animated okay so in here you can fix any problem that you have like uh, in this case you see I have this kind of white uh, line there that for some reason I just misplaced but I just want to show you what you can do here so I'm just going to do something silly like just put in some color here okay so I'm going to get the first layer I hit B go back to the second layer and then just do this go back to the third layer and then do this and I'm going to save this uh, file I'm going to close this one uh, no sorry I'm just going back to my original uh, file which is this one and then you can see the changes are happening here okay if they don't happen uh, for some reason uh, you need to go back to this layer right click and then um, replace contents okay I'm going to hit replace contents and I go to green O2 PSB and I hit place and then the changes should take place okay okay so now I'm ready to animate the blinking eye and what I do is I'm going going back to my I layer I'm just going to sort of um, shorten the duration of these three layers okay and then let's probably uh, make it just a couple of frames longer and then same as we did with the smile just uh, play around with them so uh, this is rice in the glass this is just blinking I forgot to replace the um, smile here which is looking bad but I'll, I'll do it in a minute so I have the first um, layer here for the blinking eye got the second one which is doing this and then I have the third one which is opening again okay so I can see the animation happening and same story I just select this um, three layers here right click and uh, convert to a smart object and then I have my blinking eye into one single layer and now I'll proceed to fix this problem so I corrected the problem here and I, it's a good chance for me to show you how it works so I deleted the silly lipstick that I put so and I save it and I'm just going back to my original file I just get this one here which is the green right click and then I'm going to replace contents and I look for the this file the PSB place and now it should be okay right so this is very 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 useful okay now I have this um, Mm, bottle of beer here that I want to animate it's not the prettiest uh, picture but um, it's just for the sake of this tutorial so I'm going to use it I'm going to do the same I'm going to select this layer um, just move it back now what, what I want to do here is just to sort of play around with the opacity of this layer so it just doesn't show up all in a sudden but 
um, it just sort of fade in and uh, nicely merges with the background. So I'm going to select this layer. I go to opacity down here. Okay, just gonna make sure that I'm here on this. In the very first layer, I uh, keyframe the opacity. And then I'm just gonna move it few layer, few frames uh, forward. Uh, let's say somewhere here, and I'm going to keyframe it again. Now this, at this point, I want the opacity down to zero. Okay. So how do I do that? Um, here the opacity should be zero, as I said before. So I need to change that on the layer uh, tab here. All right. So this is my uh, Saigon label over here. And I'm just going down to opacity and I'm just going to bring it down to zero. And as you can see, it has disappeared and it's just appearing again. Because this one here is uh, set on. So I'm up here. This one is set on a hundred, right? So there you go. Uh, you can move this and adjust it as you as you need, okay? Right, so let's uh, continue. I'm going to bring uh, an audio track, okay? Um, that's a, actually a pretty nice feature. We can bring music here. We can produce a complete movie, short movie here, a short clip. So to do that, I'm just going to click on this button here and I'm going to add audio. And my folder, I have this long Saigon. So I click open and now I have this green um, uh, layer on my timeline. I'm just going to bring the volume down and then you can see. Okay, so it's quite messy, but we can still fix it. Just uh, click on that, right click and um, do a fade in and fade out okay and see what happens i probably bring the volume down in the audio so i can bring my volume in the laptop back um and let's see what happens okay so let's press the space bar okay so this is just matter of continuing fixing this uh you can edit your um, audio files uh, using Audition or uh, another piece of software. I'm going to fade it out somewhere here, see what happens. Go back here. Okay, so it's just a matter of adjusting uh, bits and pieces here and there, okay? Right, so now this is pretty much what I've done with the file. I'm just going to close my layer stuff and have a look at what we got here. Okay, so now that our animation is ready, we should export it as a quick time movie. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go down here and uh, go to this uh, render video button, click there, and a pop-up window should appear here. I'm going to call this Saigon Bear. Make sure this is an MP4. Uh, I'm going to select the folder, which is on my desktop, that's fine. Uh, the format, H264, that's fine. Uh, high quality, check the size, the frame rate, make sure that everything um, goes according to your project and hit render. Okay, it seems to be ready. I'm going to, yep, there you go. Here's our Saigon beer movie, double click. And then we have a work file. 
right i think that's all for now um if you've got any question or comment just write it down in the boxes below okay thank you very much and i hope you have fun with this exercise